George, what? we have to start using some of the things we buy. <gasps> I got a good idea. Let's use it now. I meant all the washi tape. It goes in the box, Ken. Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm George. And I'm Ken. And in this episode, we're going to finally use the Teresa Collins Stamp Maker. It ended up being a hundred times easier than we expected it to be. We kind of let it intimidate us. Yep, we did. But it came out great, and it was really simple. So, the first thing we did was printed out our negative. We have the Made by Crafts by Two for the back of cards, the Crafts by Two logo, and the design we made up for Melody Lane. And after just a couple minutes in the stamp maker, we had our stamps. And I think they came out looking pretty good. For our first try, we learned some things, and we'll pass those things on to you. So let's take a look at how we actually made it. Starting from right to left, you can see our orange dust cloth actually covering the clamp that we're going to be using to hold the negative in the stamp pack. Then the Teresa Collins stamp maker with the UV light already warming up, as per the instructions. Then you can see our negative on the table next to it. And the rest is just our cleaning fluid, and then the water we're going to use for the hardening process. So here's the clamp that you put the stamp pack into. One side is smooth, and the other side has a lip to it. That's where we're going to put the negative, if I can pick it up off the table. And you put the negative in face up, so you can read it. And now we're going to put the stamp pack in it. And you kind of want to do this in a little bit of darkness because the stamp packs are UV sensitive. Being in the basement, the regular lights aren't too bad if you're working quickly. And then you put the cover back on. It's magnetic, so it snaps together pretty easily. It's really hard to get apart unless you slide it apart. You can't just pull it apart with a twisting motion right and as you can see i had a little bit of trouble lining stuff up and then once you have it in you kind of push it down and i wasn't happy with the placement of the stamp pad so i'm going to go back and reset it so the stamp pad didn't cover some of the art right the craft by two the made by craft by two stamp we printed a little bit too close to the edge. I thought we were good, but putting the stamp pad in, I decided it wasn't as good as it could be. And then you just push on the stamp pad to get it even. You put it in the stamp maker. And then Ken reminds me to clean my dirty fingerprints off of it. But the pack is actually like a gel, so that's what you're pressing down. Right. And then I have my trusty phone with... Two timers in it. One timer for, I think it was six seconds? Yep. And we're going to do that on the back. And that's because we have details that are fine and we want them to come out. So after six seconds, you take it out and you flip it so the negative is face up. And you keep it in there for a minute, 40 seconds. So the dark area is going to prevent it from exposing those areas so it's going to stay gel. And the lighter areas are what are going to become the stamp. Now I'm turning it off. Now you are. <laughs> and I'm taking it out and giving the clamp a twist to separate it. And just removing our negative because we're done. At this point you can barely see the stamp through it on the video you could barely see it at all and in the background i'm yelling to ken it's light sensitive don't show it in front of the lights so ken's cutting open the gel pack now and as you can see he has rubber gloves on a lot of people when we were reading other people's work said that it was kind of gooey and it was hard to get off your hands and so we tried it with the uh, rubber gloves 
And there's me splashing all over the table on the floor. But it was basically kind of syrupy at this point. All the gel that didn't solidify from being exposed to the ultraviolet light. And you just need to clear that off and make sure that you just have your detailed stamp left. And they give you a brush with the kit and you're supposed to kind of scrub it gently and then use a slightly more aggressive circular motion. And we learned a little later that I was a little too aggressive. A little too aggressive? You <laughs> removed part of Melody's stamp. So I scrubbed off Melody's web address from the stamp. And that's just water with a little Dawn in it, right, Ken? Right, that's just dish soap. So we were pretty careful because we didn't know what to expect or what we were doing for sure this first time. But you really just want to make sure that you've got all the liquid cleared off and that there's no liquid left of the gel in between your detail. Because after this, you're going to rinse it off to clear the soap and then it goes back into the water to be hardened. So you don't want any of that residual gel ruining the detail that you created with your negative so i think this is about the point that ken scrubbed too hard <laughs> but it wasn't all ken's fault i told him to scrub hard <laughs> that should have been our first clue you can see that it's still kind of pink and that's the color of the gel um as you work with it it does fade a little and but we noticed with the drying it all comes back to pink but that's how it's going to be but that doesn't impact the quality of the stamp at all so because this was our first time i think we were a little too obsessed with making sure it was cleaned off well another thing that i didn't realize too is that because you're doing that exposure on the back it will leave a thin film so I kind of took it out that one time and looked at it and went back and scrubbed again because in some areas that film was coming off, but in other areas you didn't have to, you didn't necessarily have to worry about it. So Ken just ran off to the laundry room and rinsed it off in regular water. And this is a tub of clean water that he thought I took the cover off of, but I didn't. <laughs> so that's me trying to get it because it kind of clipped on and I didn't want to splash water all over our table. So I was just giving it a shake to make sure there was no air bubbles and that it actually settled to the bottom because you want it immersed in about a centimeter of water. And then you just turn it on, give it a chance to warm up a little, and then you place it back in the stamp maker for two minutes to make sure it cures. It kind of drifted forward a little, so that's why I just gave it a poke to have it shift to the back underneath the lights completely. So it's just about been two minutes. And I turn off the stamp maker, take the water bath out, and remove the stamp sheet from the water, and then just pat it dry. And actually... Once you remove it from the water, the stamp is really, really clear. But once it dries, it does retain a pink hue to it. And that's what it looks like. Now we're going to let it dry. So here's the stamp all dried. As you can see, it does have a pink tint to it. And here at the bottom is where Ken scrubbed off Melody Lane's web address. Next time we know not to scrub so hard. Now I'm just going to take regular scissors and cut around the stamps. It's kind of stuck to that portion of the envelope, which is just kind of like an acetate. Which, when we first did this, we weren't sure if it was supposed to stay on the acetate or if the rubber stamp was supposed to come off. But it's meant to stay on the acetate. So here I am just fussy cutting, which I really don't like, the stamps off the acetate sheet. 
you don't have to be too fussy with it. You just want to make sure that there aren't any residual edges that might catch the ink when you're stamping. And then from all my playing with the placement of the gel pack, our stamp came out pretty good. And I didn't scrub any parts off. Yay. So I'm going to throw away the extra pieces of acetate. Then they give you this piece of plastic, kind of like a window cling, that you put on your acrylic block, and then the acetate from the back of the stamp sticks to it as I pound down on the table and shake the whole camera. They actually said to cut it to fit the stamps, but I think using it as a sheet the way we did makes it reusable. And we're going to use Memento ink and just see how well they came out. According to the instructions, you can use like a pigment or a dye ink, but they don't recommend using solvent inks, so you wouldn't want to use stays on with these. It came out really good. And then it's a little difficult to take off. Maybe I shouldn't have cut it so close. And there's our Craft by Two logo. I'm sorry I shook the whole table. Here's a design we made for Melody Lane. Minus her web address. So one thing that you could also do with these stamps is, if you wanted to, is you could mount them on static cling foam board, or foam cushion board, which is what I'm showing here. But actually, this cling sheet and the way the stamps come with the acetate on the back, is actually pretty nice to stamp with. See, that was really easy. We did let it intimidate us for a long time. And because our viewers asked us to do it, we finally jumped in with both feet. And I'm really glad we did. I think it came out great. And it's not something everybody wants to rush out and buy. But if you have a lot of ideas for custom stamps, it might be something worth it for you. I know I've already planned a couple things that I want to do. In addition to redoing these, just a little bit from the things that we learned from the video. Personally, I was a little intimidated by the price too. But considering we got three stamps and probably could have gotten four out of the medium pack, I think it might be worth it for us in the long run. So remember, if you liked our video or you learned something, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have questions, comment below and we'll try to answer you. And don't forget, it's really easy to subscribe if you're not one of our subscribers already. Just use our little icon up in the corner. So until next Tuesday, or probably sooner, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. And after you that, we got our stamps. <laughs> that was Melody's stamp. She's just falling all over. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.